Hey guys, it's Dave from Two Average Dudes. Michael, chime in in a second. So, I got some notes here I'm going to go through so I can get things uh, as accurate as I can. So, the Global Affairs Canada representative said that there's now 13 Canadians have been detained since December 1st, 2018. Okay, 13 Canadians. Okay, now, um, they I don't know why they didn't tell us about the other 10. Like, why? There's no reason it wasn't national security i doubt it but um you know uh and apparently also there's over 200 canadians detained in um china for various allegations but then again in a comparison here there's almost 900 canadians detained in the united states now what really irks me about this is that we did the state's dirty work and now we're getting hit and if you look, since things start going a little bit crazy, the United States has put out an advisory to its citizens about going to, the, to China, you know, from the States to China, saying there could be repercussions, blah, blah, blah. And our country, Canada, did not. <clears throat> Why? You know, they, they, they give you a warning, but they don't put out an advisory. Like, I'm going, you should be telling everybody that's thinking of going to China, Hey, you better reconsider because things could go wrong pretty fast. Now, is there anything that we can do? I don't know. See, the states is strong, both in their military and economically. So, you know, it would be a real fight back and forth with China. But Canada, we have Trudeau, who is a spineless idiot, and he proved that with the NAFTA agreements. Like, he blew those. And, you know, they're saying it's a victory. It's not a victory. We got hammered. And he's driving business away and everything else. And the Chinese look at him and go, this guy's a moron. So, you know, we can kind of push things and do things how we want. And then, you know, Canada's military is an absolute disgrace. So it's not like they're afraid we're going to send a canoe over with a 22 mount on the front of it to take care of business. You know, that that's, that's the whole thing. And it's unfortunate. It's an unfortunate situation for Canada because we got to kind of got caught in the middle of the whole thing and as canadians uh we should expect more to come because you know it's just like you piss off the biggest guy in the field he's gonna get you so now he's getting us mike what do you think of this do you think that uh, we're gonna get hammered some more or what what do you think this is gonna do our, our trade negotiations Hey Dave, what Trudeau has done essentially is create a lovely love triangle <laughs> with the U.S. and China and Canada. And, you know, he's just so ignorant and arrogant and self-centered that he thinks none of his actions have consequences. Okay. We don't know how many de detainees they have in China right now. Can't believe our government. They originally said three. Now it turns out to be more than ten. So really, how many are there? How many are they not telling us about? How many does China have detained that they're not telling us about because they don't care about our country anymore because Trudeau's an idiot? So that's where we sit today. So there will be a lot of sanctions and trade coming on in China. You watch. They're going to start stopping, you know, China people from buying a lot of stuff from us and shipping a bunch of stuff here that we need. They, they're going to control us. They're, they're huge compared to what we are. You know, there's not, like you said, our one little canoe is not going to stop them from bullying us around. And the U.S. will not come to our help. They will not come to our aid right now because Donald Trump is still mad at Trudeau for dragging on the NAFTA, well, the, the USMCA agreement. So... We're basically up the creek without a paddle. This is going to hurt us financially, economically, you know, people-wise. We're going to lose some people because right now there should be a, a there should be no flights to China from Canada. They should be cutting off all travel to China right now because you know it's a bad place to be if you're Canadian. I don't know why we haven't. Oh wait, I know why we haven't done it because Trudeau doesn't think. Anybody would do anything to him. Any country would come after Canada. Trudeau lives in this little bubble 
where he thinks Canada is all this grand country and everybody loves us and everybody's going to help him because, you know, he helped some other poor countries here and there, giving them all our money. So everybody's going to come help uh, Canada and Canada win this battle against China. Well, it ain't going to happen, people. It ain't going to happen. So don't travel to China. If you need something from China, you want to order some stuff from China, you better order it now and, and get it as quick as you can before they cut us right off because I'm sure right now they're just trying to figure out how they're going to, you know, basically beep slap us, you know, as they bully us. Anyways, guys, let us know what you think about this scenario. Leave your comments below. Leave your questions below. Subscribe to our channel, and we'll catch you next time, guys. Mm -hmm.